good morning, uh, everyone. I uh, first of all want to thank you for coming out here, and I want to thank our fire chief John Hazelwine, our police chief uh, Greg Sir. Please come on up, uh, chief. Uh, and uh, first of all, thank uh, both our fire and police departments for responding so well to uh, just almost a week ago uh, from today, uh, the disaster fire, a four alarm fire that affected uh, this section of Ocean Avenue. Uh, the fire chief and the police chief, along with a number of other department heads and a number of departments, just met with uh, many of the fire uh, victims, the businesses, as well as a couple of the property owners here to uh, register with them that we're ready to help them uh, get over this disaster immediately and start the rebuilding process in an expedited fashion. Uh, but I begin with a great deep of uh, gratitude to our fire department for their response. Uh, there was a couple of injuries, but nothing that can't be recovered from. And uh, thanks to them and the police department, there, there were no lives lost. And in this kind of uh, intense fire, uh, that's always the situation we have to be prepared for. But uh, now we're on to a rebuild, and uh, we have a number of agencies, including our planning department, building inspection, our health department, our uh, Department of Emergency Management, Public Works, building inspection, as I mentioned earlier, our Small Business Commission, uh, all working together in coordination with my office and the Office of uh, Economic and Workforce Development that is now headed by Todd Rufel. And today we registered our willingness to work with them to expedite the necessary permits, uh, but the thing that I wanted to thank the businesses was their willingness to uh, make sure that their investment was worth it for them to continue uh, uh, pursuing the various permits and the permission to get back uh, their businesses and up and running. And it's a challenge for uh, any of these fire victims to really get out of the misery that this tragedy causes them and get on with uh, rebuilding of their businesses and in coordination with the others. So it was good to have uh, this meeting uh, to let them know how important we thought Ocean Avenue has been uh, to not only to them but to the city. I think we registered that very clearly. And we also wanted to give them a sense of how willing we were to get things on the fast track. Uh, and so uh, uh, they have met with us. They continue to have uh, excellent dialogue with the various agencies that will help them recover. And I want to thank. Uh, the Supervisor Avalos and Supervisor Sean Ellsburn uh, for District 7 and District 11 as it borders here, uh, their cooperation in making sure that they communicate to their interests in supporting all the small businesses along here recover. We are also extending recovery right to not only the business owners and the property owners, but also to the very employees who now may be challenged with their economics. And so we're going to assist uh, the individual employees who may have lost a job, either temporarily or for the long term, to assist them in getting jobs in the city uh, and get them on to economic recovery at the same time. As you know, I've been very interested, uh, as I've been uh, both the interim and the now elected mayor of the city, that I've always wanted to be prepared for disaster, making sure the city is ready. Uh, this uh, coordination that we're having is somewhat unprecedented in my opinion, but one that I feel is appropriate for people who face disaster. We want them to feel uh, that the city wants them to recover very quickly. Uh, it is tough enough to be a victim of this fire. It is tougher if we hear that people are further victimized, if they have a bureaucracy in the city that isn't sensitive to this, uh, that isn't supporting their, their own uh, effort to recover. So I don't ever want them to feel that way. Uh, I, I think that it's already hard enough to recover, and so we need to make it a little easier for them, whether it's a building permit, a planning process, uh, working with public works, working with public health, to uh, if there's any food establishments here, how they can get uh, everything from air vents to approvals uh, in the way. Uh, much of their challenge right now will be with the insurance companies and the property owners first because unless and until they get permission and they get all of their uh, insurance in line, uh, they can't tell the small business owners how quickly they can apply for their permits to get back their businesses. 
and so uh, some of the businesses are still being a little bit weary about that because they may or may not have the, uh, the tight relationships that we have, and this is why we had this meeting to encourage the property owners that they've got a city backing them on a strong, quick recovery so they can then talk to their small businesses and feel the same way. Uh, we uh, have a official police, uh, a official fire investigation report that is being shared with them so they can get their insurance companies onto this uh, effort. Uh, I also want to say no, that uh, I'm very glad to work with our fire and police and, par and all of our departments coordinating all of their services because it does reflect, I think, uh, my approach to investing in our neighborhoods. And we don't want them to ever feel that uh, just because it's out here in Ocean Avenue that the city doesn't care. We do care. We care greatly about these small businesses. And I want to thank Hassam, who is the owner of uh, Java's Coffee House, because he just gave up this morning's uh, uh, coffee business for us to have that meeting there. But he's a great supporter of these small businesses. And so I want to thank him for his hospitality and friendship to the business here and to eventually uh, the neighbors who want to be here. We've invested a lot in Ocean Avenue in the last few years. We've got an Ingleside branch. A library opened up. I was personally here to do that. We have the Avalon uh, uh, apartments and condominiums that have opened up here and kind of moved on with the Cragen's Auto, if you knew here earlier. Uh, we're working uh, with our Invest in Neighborhood strategy to uh, make sure there's uh, less storefronts that have vacancies along this way. Uh, and they are a key to kind of revitalize City College and all of the businesses that want to uh, really have the benefit of a great transit corridor that has on this Ocean Avenue. And I reminded everybody this morning that I was working here with Dan Weaver way back in DPW days, scraping off the graffiti off these poles as evidence is that the, I wanted this neighborhood uh, really feeling uh, a, a vibrant scene. They did all the work they have. This is one of the key neighborhoods and now have a community benefits district. They personally invested uh, in their own monies to help revitalize this area. So I want to honor that. I want to honor the businesses with their personal investments, the property owners with their personal investments, with a strong support from the city. Uh, because if we can do it out here, we can do it in any neighborhood. Right, Marie? Yes. Uh, so thank you for uh, listening to us and for uh, evidencing the communications that we need to have. Uh, if there's uh, comments from our uh, fire chief or police chief, uh, I welcome that as well, and then we can take questions. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good afternoon. Uh, Joanne Hayes-White with the fire department. Just, uh, I thought it was great that we did have the opportunity to provide additional information and some closure to the business owners here uh, with the meeting that the mayor convened this morning. Uh, we did have our hands full, like I said, to the, to the merchants last Monday on the 6th. Uh, we got a call at about 10 minutes of 6 a.m. Originally, we thought the fire was coming in on the backside of, of the buildings on Southwood, so we sort of headed over to that direction and then quickly uh, redirected our resources to Ocean Avenue here. Uh, fortunately, we had we did uh, we were able to suppress the fire. We just had two minor injuries, firefighters that were treated and released uh, the very same day. Uh, the crews that were here, we had about 140 personnel, uh, faced 10 buildings uh, that that were involved in this fire. So we're grateful that there was no loss of life or major injury. And now it's about, as Mr. Mayor said, uh, rebuilding, getting these businesses back on track and back in business. And I will say, having gone through this time after time, uh, this is an excellent display of the city coordinating to not only provide the emergency services, but also the recovery services. And I think, um, you know, Mayor Lee, under your leadership, we're all working together even more closely to be of greater service to, to the citizens that we serve. So thank you, and I'm happy to answer any questions at the conclusion of this as well. Thank you. I, I would just echo the mayor and the chief's comments that, you know, it's uh, it's always sad when this sort of thing happens, but the, the upside is when it's a real coming together, the, the city, the neighborhoods, everybody's in support of uh, having the neighborhood recover as quickly as possible. The, as you can see, the businesses have been secured. The police presence has stepped up in the neighborhood, and DEM will be expediting any calls to the neighborhood. If anybody sees something uh, where someone might want to take advantage of this, sadly that happens from time to time, please call, and the police department will expedite the response. 
And, and Todd, uh, I've asked Todd, who is our new head of our Office in Workforce and Economic Development, to coordinate all of the different services reflective uh, of, of the city permit process to get these businesses back uh, running up. So Todd, please. Thank you, Mayor. Todd Rupo with the Office of Economic and Workforce Development. The day of the fire, the Office of Economic and Workforce Development had staff out to meet with business owners, and we've had subsequent meetings uh, almost every day since then. Uh, to share with them information that we had to understand what their needs were and to develop a strategy and a response for the business recovery for those businesses. And so uh, one of the things that the Office of Economic Workforce Development uh, with Krizia Tano, who's here today, who's leading point to support and interface with the businesses and coordinate the city's business recovery uh, with all the departments here today, um, as well as Jane Gong from the Office of Small Business, uh, Office of Economic Workforce Development will remain highly engaged uh, and uh, work with the businesses for their continued recovery. Um, to the mayor's point, you know, this is a, uh, a highly coordinated effort between city departments in the city, uh, between planning, Department of Building Investigation, uh, as well as Department of Public Health to ensure that these businesses are up and running as soon as possible. Thank you, Mayor. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Supervisor Olagi, for being here as well. We appreciate your, your attention to this. I know you're a big supporter of small businesses, too. We handed out uh, a whole list to every business today, this morning, of every contact of every department, both emails and uh, cell phone numbers, so they have a point of contact. Um, and uh, we're beginning this process immediately uh, for recovery. Uh, as I said earlier, people will have faith in the city after a disaster if they have a city that welcomes their business back in, welcomes their lives back in. So we're going to do everything we can to help not only the business owners, but their employees who have probably lost their income for quite some months. Uh, so with that, I'd be glad to ask any questions people have. You're going to have to yell it out. So. Cause of the fire. Uh, yes, uh, we have our fire marshal here too, Tom Harvey. He oversees our Bureau of Fire Prevention and Investigation. And uh, we have a joint arson task force. Uh, we have joined it with members, not only the fire department, but the police department. And we can say uh, with certainty that this was a, a fire caused accidentally uh, due to some roofing work that had been done uh, in previous days uh, up to the, to the fire. Uh, that building there dates back to the 20s. It'll have to be demolished now, completely rebuilt. Can you talk about the ex expediting the rebuild process? John Stewart? Uh, David Stevens' question was that uh, one of the buildings was pretty much uh, uh, completely damaged, will we'll have to be demolished first, and then uh, how fast can we get that building up? And a lot of it, uh, John will tell you, depends upon the owner's plans, whether they want to keep it the way it was or change the design and add more space. Uh, John Ram, the director of planning. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, yeah, the, the answer is that it, if they want to rebuild it uh, essentially in the same shape and size that it is today, that can happen quite quickly. There is no notification process. There's no hearing process. There's, uh, that can happen uh, pretty quickly. If they want to add to the building, then we'd have to take a, uh, a stronger look at it to see if the building is bigger than it is today. But to rebuild what's there can be done fairly quickly. And of course, that music is part of the flavor of Ocean Avenue. <laughs> Last question, anybody else? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, the businesses. We'll be back here to make sure things get worked out, OK? Thank you.